been seeing a lot more progress faster than just using minoxidil. In fact, it's been documented to be two times more effective. Or was it three times? I don't know. Juice yourself up. Uh, this video will be about simple hair growth tips anyone can understand. Let's get into it. So here's the first basic one that everyone understands. Have a healthy diet. Simple, huh? Yeah, pretty simple. See, it's kind of obvious, but you wouldn't think to go through your fridge or to calculate everything you're eating and see if it's healthy. But just look at what you've been eating the past couple of days. Have you been having a good variation of foods? Has it been healthy or has it been fattening, junk food, alcohol? Point being, things that aren't good for you will just do bad effects. And if you want to improve your body in any sh way, shape, or form, you have to improve the interior functions and nutrition. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Next one. Supplements. Yeah. Shocker. Supplements. Why? Because it has to do with the inside of your body, like I said before. And supplements could be a variation of supplements. Pretty much anything you take, most of the time, will have an effect on your looks in some certain way, shape, or form. The ones that I know that help with hair growth are biotin, iron, calcium, uh, pretty much that. Of course, there's other ones, but the main ones are biotin, oh, and vitamin D. So, biotin, vitamin D, calcium, and iron. Because if, if you have an iron deficiency, it's usually going to cause certain problems to the development of lots of things, including hair growth. Vitamin D, you can get it from the outside sun rays, but you can also get it into pills, which is a lot easier to take. And the point of advice, guys, go do your research on the dosing. Because some vitamins, pretty low dose, and they're costing a lot. Because vitamins ain't fucking cheap. Vitamins are not cheap, guys. So, go do your research. Check the maximum doses for iron, calcium, biotin, vitamin D. Right? So you don't get ripped off. And buy a supplement that just is a huge ripoff, dude, for how much you're paying for it. No, you don't want that. Next one, working out. I'm pretty sure you can guess why. Working out, fellas. Working out increases your androgenic hormones higher, aka testosterone, DHT, estradiol, estrogen, human growth hormone, all of these. Hormones, you want higher because while well, you're creating your body to perform more, which is obligating your body to create more of these hormones to help with the healing, help with the efficiency of the energy, the strength, the size, hardening your bones, etc. Now, if you have a deficiency in any of your hormones and you don't know about it, that could be a reason why you have a hard time growing hair. People who lack, example, estrogen or especially testosterone. Or DHT. Most of the time, they cannot grow a beard, they cannot grow their hair properly, they cannot grow their eyelashes or eyebrows, their hair, their body hair in general. And since there's been a decline in testosterone, you should maybe look into it, guys. I'm not a professional doctor, but you should look into it just to know exactly how you stand in terms of uh, internal pituitary production. Now, what was the next one? Oh, yeah, minoxidil. Minoxidil is, for those who don't know, it's just a medication that doctors found out a long time ago in the hospital while trying out for patients, trying to cure something, whatever, they found out that the medication causes, you know, hair growth. Pretty much everywhere when you use this medication. But minoxidil, you can find it as a liquid or foam, and you just apply it to whatever part of your face or your body where you want to grow hair. You just apply it. There's foam or liquid. Some people react to it, some people don't react to it. Most of the time, you'll be completely fine. Maybe a little bit of drying or itchiness, but it usually goes away. I've been using minoxidil for a while now. I plan on making a video about before and after. Now, next one. Microneedling or derma roll. I use a derma roll. For those of you who don't know what microneedling or derma roll is, it's basically for the derma roll, a roll thing that you roll, covered in tiny little needles that pierces your skin. You can barely see it. It usually leaves like little pinkish marks. And there's a micro needle. It's like a weird ass pen you just press or use that does little micro needles. There's different sizes of needles called cartridges. 
So very complex mechanism, but pretty simple to use. If you combine, which I highly recommend you do, if your goal is to grow hair, wherever it is, eyebrows, hairline, beard, patches on your beard, whatever. I recommend combining minoxidil and a derma roll. Use micro needling if you want to, the pen. I use the derma roll. Combined with the minoxidil, I've been seeing a lot more progress faster than just using minoxidil. In fact, it's been documented to be two times more effective. Or was it three times? I don't know. Now, what was the next one? Oh, yeah. Uh, peptides. For those of you who don't know what peptides are, these are peptides are just amino acids creating proteins that we all have these things inside our body, except peptides are just higher concentration you inject into your body. Depending on where you live, it might be illegal, it might not be illegal. It's kind of in the gray market section. Don't recommend you do it, but I don't not recommend you do it. Like I said, I'm not professional. I'm not advertising anything, I'm just saying what they do, because a lot of peptides out there are known for creating hair growth. Uh, GHKCU, uh, TB beta 4, uh, BCP157. I'm pretty sure those ones create hair growth too. And there's uh, more, there's hundreds and hundreds of peptides that keep on discovering, creating, and certain companies start selling them. Most of the time, they sell them and you gotta pay with it, uh, you gotta pay using crypto coins of some sorts. They rarely accept you know, debit or credit cards. It's a weird market system. I made a video on this. Uh, I'll leave it a link at the bottom of the video. Next one. Oh, androgens. Buying testosterone, increasing your testosterone. Not advising you should or shouldn't. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. But increasing your testosterone will help with hair growth by a lot. And if you're someone who needs it, by a fuck lot. There is a difference between cycle and therapy, of course. If you don't know that, you should probably look into it. And next one is DHT. In this case, if you're someone trying to grow their hair on their head, uh, and you're losing hair, it's probably because you have like a lot of DHT in your hair. DHT is dehydrotestosterone. It was, it's, what happens after testosterone and estrogen mix up and divide or whatever the fuck? The whole process is very complicated. I haven't figured that out yet. But, basically, your hair ends up with a fucking hormone called DHT, which is a precursor, what, precursor, or is it, oh, whatever, DHT anyways, hair, DHT, uh, buy a shampoo that get, gets rid of DHT in your hair, and usually your hair will start growing back, pretty simple, pretty, straight, pretty straightforward, and in general, find yourself a good shampoo, biotin, and certain vitamins needed, and herbs, and a conditioner, Usually will help with the growth of your hair, and if you can use that conditioner on your beard, usually, common sense wise, will help even more. Now the next one, to growing your hair out. And it's the second last one. It's a quick video. Let it grow. Stop fucking trimming it, and let it grow. This usually has to do with, you know, your beard. Like, let it grow, man, see what you're dealing with. Before you start complaining that I can't grow a beard, first let the damn thing grow. Most of the time, guys don't even let their beard grow, so they don't know what they're dealing with or what their potential is. And the next one, combing. Because combing, well, helps straighten it out, see how long it is. Because if your beard's all shriveled up, all fuzzed up and curly and intertwined, you won't really see the length of it of what you're dealing with. And finally, oils. Using oils, fellas. Using oils, uh, argan oil, castor oil, usually, usually I think is the best. Olive oil, Vaseline. Applying these on your beard, or on your eyebrows, or eyelashes, or putting some in your hair. You can make a combination of all of them inside a bottle. Careful though, depending on how you react to it. Some people can react extremely strong to certain oils and not know about it. So try it on your wrist just to see how it reacts. Worst case scenario, your wrist grows a bit of a hair faster, but no big deal. And I doubt it's going to happen for just one time trying, just to see if it's going to react to your skin in a bad way or not. And I don't mean applying a shit I mean applying an average amount on your beard or whatever the fuck, and doing something for like 30 minutes and then washing it off. That's simple. So yeah. 
Hope that helped. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.